Hey folks, I'm E Chip. And I'm Robert. We're contentment. This video, we're just telling you what I didn't help do, but he did. I wasn't here. I was gone. Yeah, you did. You did quite a bit of it. Well, I did help some. beautiful morning after two days of being snowed in I'm ready to get out and do some more work so Dinah's all topped off put her fluids greased up warmed up I hope ready to go let's get down in that uh, cut and see if we can dig some more stuff out chip made the cut a little too deep so now he's having to take some of this dirt right here and kind of fill it in a little bit and besides that it was a little bit hard to get in and out with the snow and the mud but anyway so that's what we're doing today Man, it is truly a dog's life, is it not? Don't you? It's a dog's life, isn't it, Reba? It's a dog's life, right? Roscoe, it's a dog's life, right? Yep. Coming along here, we've widened the pad. As you can see, clear down there. But we still have to cut until it clears the edge of the hill off in that direction. So far, Dinah's holding up okay. Got, you know, got some leaks and using hydraulic fluid, but, and uh, blew a brand new hose yesterday. Luckily, the original Dinah is over there and I have some good hoses on her that I was able to interchange. That's the beauty of having a parts machine around when you need it on an older piece of equipment like this. Thank <laughs> you. 
sorry about the wind. Uh, another windy day. Here it is. We've got the pad uh, pretty much cut. Uh, now it's a matter of really just uh, shaping it up, getting it a little more level than it is so that it can, you know, rest over the winter, let the soil compact a little bit, uh, that kind of thing. But uh, I think instead of putting the septic over there, I'm going to reposition over here. But first, I've got to get the, the uh, laser level out and set some ground stakes in this thing so we can properly level it. I think we'll be doing a lot of that by hand. got my back to the wind here and I hope that that cuts out a lot of the wind noise here I do apologize but I've done the uh, staking I don't know if you can see the orange flags all around here and it's obvious to me that this area is very low and needs to be built up um, septic tanks going right about there I can just fill this in but I've got to make sure that when I'm out here with the backhoe if I am uh, looks like I'm gonna have to be that I uh, be sure not to run over those stakes because the tops of those stakes are exactly at the levels that I need. You can see I've got a stake, stake pounded into the ground here and I put a little flag next to it so it'd be easier to see. But I've got some fluorescent paint, I'll paint the top of it too. Let's see, here's another one which tells you how much material is going to have to be removed uh, in this area. So the dogs really like these flags for some reason or another. They're pulling them out and stuff like that. So. Uh, but I will paint those uh, tops of those stakes with fluorescent orange just in case. Got to remove a little bit of soil there. This was pretty easy to do. I just used the laser level and of course my leveling rod with a reader on it. And I set the first stake over there where I wanted to at 48 inches below grade in that corner. That would be the deepest spot. Okay. Once I had that set, I simply adjusted this leveling rod to that level until it beeped. And then I went around the rest of the uh, pad here and I either dug down or built up until I heard it beep and I knew that everything was at the same level. And uh, so that's how I was able to use the, the laser level. As you can see, I've got quite a bit of building up to do here, over six inches, and some more over there, more. And there's, I don't know if you can see that one over there, about another six inches. This area is very low, so I need to uh, build it up. But we finally have the um, house pad fixed, not all the way fixed, but cut away. Um, now we have to do the septic. It's been a lot of fun so far. I've met some challenges, a lot of challenges. There's a saying that I heard Boss of the Swamp, and if you've never seen his videos, go see Off Grid Living with the Boss of the Swamp. Uh, he said in a video here a while back that uh, adventure and adversity go hand in hand, and I kind of like that. Um, it's so true. I like the progress that we've been making, but I'm still in a... Debbie Downer kind of mentality. I don't really know how to put it, but after coming back here, seeing that we've been robbed, huge setbacks, um, always having to repair something or go to town to get something to be able to do the projects we're doing. But having said that, you know, our goal this summer, this past summer, uh, has been to get the septic tank installed and to get the house pad cut. And so, you know, we are well on track to do that before Christmas. It didn't happen this summer, but it is happening. And so, you know, that was the goal that by, that by the time winter hit, those things would be in place and that we'd be good to go. And it looks like it's going to happen. It took longer and cost more than we anticipated but, uh, you know, we're there, or we're, we're getting there. 
hopefully from this point forward there'll be less of the catching up and maintenance stuff and uh, you know repairs and stuff like that and more uh, of the actual getting something done so. it has been a difficult season and I'm sure it's probably been a difficult season for a lot of people considering what has gone on with COVID and you know stuff like that and anybody who's venturing out into a lifestyle change was thrown a curve with COVID and the different things that have happened since then. Uh, the challenges are not fun but they are a great way to learn and to and to adjust. Um, we're suburban knights you know pretty much who are adjusting to an entirely new rural lifestyle and particularly off-grid and we're making the adjustment but you know I feel really good about the fact that in spite of all that's happened to us over the past six months or whatever it's been mm -hmm. that we're still able to complete the goals that we set uh, for this year so I'm really happy about that we're trying to be honest and transparent about the things that we are going through so that others can see our struggles, hopefully, and understand what it takes to do this kind of thing, to make this kind of change. I think there are a lot of people out there who wish they could live this lifestyle, who wish they could make this transition, who are just not willing to make the sacrifices. And I understand that. It is what it is. And it gets better. We'll only get better at it as we go. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And leave a comment because we like hearing from you. Mm, we do. Anyway, thank you so much. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.